Hi guys and welcome to another Blood Bowl 2 Legendary Edition video. I'm going to be playing as my Norse team, Men in Trunks versus Lizard Men's Sight, and we're in the Champions Ladder. So it's first game of multiplayer in a brand new Champions Ladder League. So uh, all the opponents in there are pretty much um, rookies. May have played one possibly two games more than me by the time I'd actually created my North side. So we're just waiting for the video to load up so you can watch highlights of the very first match in the Champions Ladder. Uh, if you re want to check my team out, uh, Men in Trunks, and see what starting lineup I went with, I've also got a video for them in the multiplayer teams uh, playlist. Um, but I can tell you quickly, uh, I did have two team rerolls and no apothecary and went with one berserker, two wolves, uh, the yeti, uh, a thrower and a catcher stroke runner as well and the rest were linesmen. Uh, so we do need to get ourselves some cash, some star player points get ourselves an apothecary as soon as possible uh, and also pick up another Blitzer Stroke Berserker uh, player as well. So we'll let you watch the highlights now of this match. I'll just turn the skills off because um, at this moment in time you're not really needing to see what the skills are. I am setting up in defence. Uh, I've got kind of used to doing this. Uh, so there you can see one berserker, one thrower, one runner. And then you've got these two wolves and five linemen in total plus the Yeti for the starting lineup. So we've got a number of skills. We have got a lot of block uh, compared to my opponent. My opponent have played one game up to this point, um, I should think we picked up a draw. Uh, so we've got ourselves some bribes, we've had a kickoff event, and we'll watch the first turn. Kind of hoping in this matchup that block comes into play quite a bit. You can see straight away the opponents had to use one of his uh, two re-rolls up there. A lot of speed in the Lizard Man team. It is one of my favourite sides. Very bashy team. Um, you do need to pick up some skills on the Saurus and on the Crocs, uh, as well as the Skinks. Um, only being strength two, it does mean you have a number of uh, <clears throat> of weaker players compared to most of your opponents. So great start there from the Berserker, he's got one of the skinks out. Was a two die into a one there with the wolf. And he's had to use a re-roll up. And he's a turnover. Uh, 
Uh, not what you need uh, when you've got a good opportunity of sacking the ball, but um, I do have a reroll. So we're going for the ball. We managed to get the knockdown and actually KO the uh, skink also. Going for the ball, pick up. I should have picked, stood this player up here, that was my mistake. I could have also attempted to move the Yeti there. There's no team rerolls left there, so he has to take um, the turnover. Friends are coming in really handy there. That's our final re-roll, hoping that um, the lineman picks the ball up, he does, and manages to get away. So good start, we managed to actually pinch the ball off my opponent and get away um, down the pitch to a scoring position. Tries to dodge out and blitz there with his crocs. So again, I can just move the um, ball carrier up the pitch. A decent start for us here. Just going for a few more of his skinks here, just to try and get rid of those kind of agile players uh, with the, the low armor value also. Oh, 
hoping Alf that the Yeti can do a bit of damage and start picking up some points so we can get a bit of claw might to blow in the team. Not giving him much opportunity in the way of getting out. Worth a foul. And we do manage to KO one of his Saurus. We did pick up a bribe, um, I think the kickoff event, so we've used the bribe now. He manages to, to dodge out there with his uh, Crocs. Um, <laughs> With nowhere team rules, I just run the ball in. I'm not risking any blocks there. Um, so I get the score, get the 1 0. It does mean we have to defend again, but we've got we've reduced his team. Um, number of players in his side. Uh, we've got rid of a number of skinks. Uh, Open the Saurus doesn't come back. Just get two of his KOs back. I think he did actually uh, manage to afford a babe on the kickoff uh, on the inducements page. So he did have a babe there. Brought two of his players back. I'm just moving my team um, a little bit further back than I normally would start them. Um, the other two being two turns left. Aware that he can run round and get a quick score as Lizardman. Well, a nice deep kick there from the game. There's my first injury, Wesker, but there's no long-term effect, so he'll be back. He's going for as many as my linemen as possible. Um, they are easy targets, they are armour seven. I was hoping for a sending off there um, and for him to use the bribe. Didn't quite happen. He does get the pick up. And he makes the pass. He needs a GFI to get in scoring range and he fails that. Take the opportunity to go for a blitz with the Yeti. Doesn't quite come off. My opponent can't score now, so we've defended the half. We managed to steal a score as well. So a very good half for us this. Up to now. goes down on the blitz.
So I battle the big guys, we come out on top there. I got no result from the Yeti, so a bit disappointing from him up to now. But as of the half overall, uh, no complaints whatsoever. We go for a bit of a pass. Uh, Glory pass there, pick up some points, don't let like, make that. So there you go, end of the first half. Great result, great start for the Norse team. Lots come into play, um, you have to say. It's helped me significantly in that half, um, in reducing my opponent's number of turnovers, uh, in actually making my opponent turn over the ball some, um, quite a bit there. So we'll have to see how the second half goes, if we can do it as well uh, with our blocks in the second half, maybe pick up another score. See my opponent still got what um his loner KO'd, his loner skinks out. I've just got the one injury, so my opponent's down two players. So we suffer an injury off the kickoff event, Brad goes down as the linesman loses one point in movement allowance. We have no Apo, so we, there's nothing we can do about that. So not a good start. A little bit fortunate there with both my two dies going into one die without the uh, suffering having to use a re-roll I do use a re-roll in that event and pass it managed to get a stun so I managed to pass the loner there does let me through on one of his skinks but there's no result from the blitz unfortunately Just deciding where to put my players at the moment. I've gone for a foul. Opponent went for a one die there also. He's moving some players down now. Apply a bit of pressure on the ball. Blitz with my runner there on his skink, get the pow, get the injury. Picks up a couple of points, brilliant. Hey. 
Gone for the pass there to Berserker. Hoping he catches. He does on the second attempt. I think we're building this um, mouse team up. I do want to get myself um, a berserker, a second berserker, and I do also want to have two runners. Um, find them really handy players to have in the mouse team. And the opponent's choices mean that I can run the ball clear. Suffer a turnover there. I've used both of my re rolls up already. Um, so the block skill does mean we both go down though. A few more blocks coming in now from the Saurus as you would expect. So he's moving down to chase the ball carrier. I've decided here, get some points on my Berserker, run it in, get the score. Uh, no point trying to delay it there with his star is bearing down on us. Um, also, 2-0. Um, I can't see my opponent getting back from the 2-0 score with only a few turns remaining in the second half. So I'm quite happy now to defend the score. Hope that none of my players get injured or killed from now on. And that we can do a bit more damage to me, my opponent, and pick some more points up myself. can see the team's quite depleted now. <laughs> Not got that many players remaining um, on the pitch. We've only having 11 anyway. But it does give me a blitz uh, on the kickoff event, which is great.
so oblivion is also out uh, no long term effect so thankfully he's going to be back And we get our first point there on there, George. He does get his skin back. Passes the lonely reroll. Um, I just to get my wolf down. Both wolves around the bow and on the ground. His lonely skin picks it up. Ultra Blitz gets the uh, second move from the ground. He gets a stun. Give me an opportunity to blitz the bow carrier. Doesn't work.
And then we go to the blitz, we fail the GFI there, so um going across to the run it in. And score. So a good game, 2-1. I thought we might be able to hold on to 2-0 there. So we got a bit unfortunate towards the end. We did have a couple of goals out of the ball carrier. Um second one obviously needed the GFIs. Uh, well I think they both needed GFIs. Um, we were able to get the distinct ball carrier on the ground. So many opponents got. Uh, but a good game, really enjoyed that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the highlights. We'll have a look at the stats. Good game for Norse that um, to survive against Wizard Men. Uh, also to get a few injuries as well. It was very pleasing. Um, let's have a look at the other stats. You can see it's fairly even now in KOs and the casualties and blocks. So it was a very bashy game. Um, star player points, we managed to get a number of players on the board there in the first match. So we got a really good um, set of star player points all the way down the board. And we'll have a look at the dash rolls. We'll start off with the lizard men. And then we'll have a look at my dice rolls. So you can see again, um, it's pretty even spread. Um, we'll have a look at my opponent's type of block dice 17, 18, 34, a lot of pushes, 16 and 12, and then I'll look at mine. 18, 17, 33, 16 and 14. So again, quite even. Um, you can see that the star player was a lineman and his star player was the loner that also scored. So I don't know if he's going to be purchasing that player or not at the end of the match. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's the first match for my uh, North team in the Champions Ladder. Um, men in trunks please give us a like dislike and subscribe take care and bye for now